redox balancing using the iron half reaction method. In the basic medium sodium hydroxide, the pair, the hydroxide ion and water molecule may be needed to balance the equations. Iron 2 hydroxide is oxidized by chromate to form iron 3 oxide and tetrahydroxochromate 3. Separate the process into Hoff reactions to find the oxidation and reduction using oxidation numbers. Oxidation numbers comparing iron 2 hydroxide and iron 3 oxide. Oxidation number hydroxide ion negative 1, 2 hydroxide ions negative 2, oxidation number ion positive 2, oxidation number oxygen negative 2, 3 oxygen atoms, total oxidation number negative 6, for the ion positive 6, and for each one ion atom, an oxidation number positive 3. The oxidation number increased, therefore one electron was donated per one ion atom and two electrons will be donated per two ion atoms. This per definition then is oxidation. For the chromate ion, oxidation number oxygen negative 2 4 oxygen atoms, negative 8. Chromium, positive 6. The sum of the oxidation numbers must result in the charge of the ion, negative 2. For tetrahydroxochromate 3, hydroxide ion, negative 1. 4 hydroxide ions, negative 4. Chromium, positive 3. Some of the oxidation numbers result in negative 1, the same as the charge on the iron. The metal's oxidation number decreased. Three electrons were required per one chromium atom. Per definition, this will be reduction. Writing the oxidation reduction half reactions. Per definition, the electrons must be written to the right of the arrow for the oxidation reaction. In a basic medium, hydroxide can be used to balance negative charge. Introduce the hydroxide ion to the left of the arrow to balance the negative charge of the electrons. Eventually, for mass balance, it will be necessary to introduce the water molecule to the right of the arrow and hydrogen and more oxygens will be introduced to the right of the arrow. For mass balance, count the atoms. Two iron atoms exist to the right of the arrow. Introduce the coefficient 2 for iron 2 hydroxide. Balance the oxygen and hydrogen atoms by introducing the coefficient 3 for the water molecule and 2 for the hydroxide ion. To balance for charge, introduce the coefficient 2 for the electrons to the right of the arrow. This coefficient here must be the same as the coefficient determined at the start of the process. Reduction. Per definition, during the process of reduction, electrons will be acquired. Therefore, electrons must be written to the left of the arrow. Negative charge was introduced to the left of the arrow. Introduce negative charge to the right of the arrow using the hydroxide ion. Hydrogens exist to the right of the arrow. To introduce hydrogen to the left of the arrow, introduce the water molecule. For mass balance, count the atoms. For charge balance, five negative charges to the right of the arrow will imply that the coefficient 3 must be introduced to the left of the arrow 
for the number of electrons so that the sum of the negative charges, 3 plus 2 to the left, will balance the negative charges to the right, 4 plus 1. Multiply each half reaction by an appropriate factor. The reducing agent must donate as many electrons as the oxidizing agent acquires. The appropriate factor will be 3, and 6 electrons will be donated during the process of oxidation, while for reduction the appropriate factor will be 2, so that 6 electrons will be acquired in the process of reduction. Summation of the Hoff reactions will form the overall balanced equation without the spectator ions. During the process of summation, the number of electrons cancelled out.